apply a color grade similar to the cornfield chase seen in Interstellar. You can now edit photos using ChatGPT. It's not something you should be doing, but you can do it if you wanted to. It's basically in a very early stage, but we are still gonna take a look on what can be achieved using it. To access this feature, you need to have the ChatGPT Plus subscription. It can only be accessed using the GPT-4 model. There is also an image editor plugin in ChatGPT, which is simply useless as of now, so we are not gonna take a look at that, as it will be just a total waste of time. To access this feature, simply go to the Settings and Beta tab and select Beta Features and enable this option called Advanced Data Analysis. This allows you to upload photos inside ChatGPT using the plus icon. It will basically appear once you select advanced data analysis from the drop down list. Now let's take a look at how it stands. In case you are new over here, hey guys, my name is Prithviraj, I'm an electronic music producer, a part time gamer, and I also try to make videos. Since it is in really early stage, let's start with something simple rather, as it failed horribly in the task given in the start. I have this really dark photo, hence I'm gonna ask it to brighten this photo for me. Alright, so it's asking me how much I would like to brighten this photo. Let's try 3x, which means it will brighten the photo 3 times more than the original. Well, I'm kind of satisfied with the result. I did not expect it to get it right in the first try. But the issue that happens when you brighten the photo this much is that there is a lot of noise. Let us see if we can remove the noise as well. Well, it did remove the noise for us, but it also remove the color. It's simply better to remove the noise using Lightroom. Don't rely on ChatGPT. At the start, it failed to recreate the interstellar color grade. But what if we asked for something simple? Let us try out the ever famous teal and orange color grade. It's actually explaining us the process on what it's about to do. Well, this is weird. It's asking us if we wanted to see the result or do we want to know the technical details behind it. Let's just check the result as we don't even know if it got it right or wrong. Also, one more thing. You might face this memory management issue. This mostly happens when the size of the photo is very large. I'm I'm quickly gonna resize this photo into a very smaller size in Adobe Photoshop and re-upload it. This is what the result looks like. It simply looks as if it only increased the blue tint in this photo and totally forgot about the orange part. Disappointed again. But let's try something different rather. What if we tried out the brown and teal color grade instead of teal and orange? Moment of truth. This is not bad actually. We don't really get the true tone of browns in this one. But it gave us a very balanced result to be honest. It didn't really go overboard with any of the adjustments and yeah, the results are decent enough. This can actually be a good starting point. You can further make edits using Photoshop and Lightroom if you want it to. Alright, so how can this benefit photographers? Let us see if it can retouch our photos for us. We are gonna use this portrait for this one. I found this photo on Pexels. And let's simply ask it to retouch this photo. It actually gave me a lot of options to choose from. Well, I'm gonna go with the skin smoothening and uh, the sharpness. Wasn't really the best photo to begin with as the photo was perfect by itself. But it seems like it adjusted the brightness a bit and perhaps sharpened this photo a lot. Well, can it remove the background? Never mind, undo. Let's try a cinematic color grid. I'll stop watching movies if this is the new definition of the cinematic grid. Alright, so I'm gonna give it one last try and see how it works. Let us see if it can colorize this black and white photo for us. If it somehow manages to do this, I'll bow down to the AI gods. And also please consider subscribing to my channel for more such videos. I already have resized this photo into a smaller file size, so let's see how it performs. It's basically behaving like those students in your class who talk a lot but don't know shit. Sorry YouTube. And I have no idea why it's asking my permission to use some other method. Just give me the result already. It's asking for a reference photo, so I guess that's progress, but it also has this option to use a simple colorized image. So let's try that instead. It's confirmed. ChatGPT is on an acid trip. One last try. Let me upload our reference photo this time. I found this one. It has those smooth tones that I'm looking for. So let's see how it performs with the reference image. Alright enough, I give up. But the thing is that it's still in beta, so I didn't really expect it to perform these advanced edits well. But it surely can do some basic adjustments for you quite nicely that too. If you just had to increase the brightness or the saturation or maybe do some minor tweaks here and there, then it can actually do the job for you quite nicely. And to my surprise, it actually did a good job with the brown and teal look. It really suited the photo well and it looked nice to be honest. This was basically an experimental video to see where the photo editing feature of ChatGPT stands. Considering the fact that it can now edit photos is a big 
deal by itself and adobe should really gear things up now don't just simply go ahead and subscribe to chat gpt plus to edit your photos as it's just not there yet let it roll out a few more updates and i'll visit this again sometime i recently did an experiment where i tried to edit my videos using a gaming handheld console so click here if you want to check that out thanks for watching please consider subscribing to my channel and i hope to see you there no shame when you get mad brains back accounts fly like an aeroplane popping pussy like get champagne